it's just getting more freaky. And not the good kind of freaky. I literally got this for dramatic effect. Pinkies up. Let's do this. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Hello you guys, just a little reminder, my 12 week support group is up and running and ready for you to join. If you're interested in having a positive support group along with a 12 week workout program, click the link below, all the information is on my website. Hello, good morning and welcome to my channel. My thoughts will probably offend you. My name is Michelle McDaniel, I am a personal trainer. Hey, pug mommy. Sorry, I, I, we disturbed her slumber. Sleep, lay down, down. And a cosplayer and today we are doing another episode of responding to fat chicks kind of snowballing off of my last video where we talked about sauna lee the fat sex therapist who believes that people can be mentally conditioned to be attracted to fat women very similar to how people think that gay people can be mentally conditioned to not be gay. The last two videos that I made on Sonali will be linked below if you want more information on her, but you can just take it from me from here, is that she is bad crazy. Once again, if you don't know anything about her, then I recommend watching those videos because she is bad crazy. She believes in things like diets is a form of white supremacy. People who want to lose weight or have a healthier body or live a healthy lifestyle is brainwashed by white straight men. But mentally conditioned us to do this whole diet culture thing, you know? So she can mentally condition people to uh, be attracted to fat women, but it's wrong to be mentally conditioned to want to live a healthy lifestyle. I'll personally take uh, the mentally conditioned option to be uh, living a healthier lifestyle. Which one would you guys choose? So she says weird things like that, but now Miss Sonali Rashtar, if I'm saying that right, sorry if I'm not, believes or is saying that personal trainers, me, are on the same level as Nazis. She is pretty much comparing personal trainers who help people to <laughs> People, you know, that whole thing that happened back in the day, you know, those times, the concentration camps, people getting murdered. That's who she's comparing personal trainers to. And I'm not done yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. She is also, also saying that children dieting is on the same level as sexual assault. You guys, I am trying to get back into my little animated story times with my weird little stick figure drawings, but Sana Lee just literally just keeps just shoving, throwing, full on forcing, you know, content in my face that I have to talk about. Literally, I have to. This is a life and death situation. So here we are talking about our favorite fat sex therapist where I don't know who gave her her uh, credentials, but here we are again. So let's read an article about the fat sex therapist and her speech that she gave at a college. What, col what college allowed this to come in there and make a speech to pretty young people. Saint Olaf. All right, hold on one second here. I'm gonna play straight suburban individual and just make a phone call. Hello, Saint Olaf. Oh, thank you so much for picking up the phone. I have an issue. I would love to speak to the person who let someone by the name Sonali Rashtar into into the college. Oh, they don't. They don't want to speak. They're too embarrassed. They understand their sins. Okay, I gotcha. They're too embarrassed to talk to us. I understand. I would be too. By the way, Obese Beast made his video on this first. He got there way faster than I did. He beat me to it. So if you guys would, after this video, go check out his opinion on this topic. Let's read. I truly believe that a child cannot consent to being on a diet the same way a child cannot consent to have sex. This was of many comments made by Sana Lee by her two hour, two hour speech that was sponsored by wonderful Saint Olaf College by the Women's and Gender Studies Department and Center of Equity and Inclusion on the topic of radical fat liberation. Radical fat liberation. That just sounds 
deadly. The talk included assertions that fitness contributed to the recent Christchurch shooting that people should challenge the rule of law, as well as the authority of and the police. So pretty much the very sick thing that this sick individual is doing is she is saying, because there, she is pretty much bringing up a very sad event that happened where a person opened fire in a public area and injured and killed people. The individual who opened fire happened to be a personal trainer. And so she is taking that story and using it to her advantage so that people can now embrace fat liberation. If you want a picture of what evil looks like, here it is. Another thing that she said during her educational speech is that, uh, you know, this whole diet thing is white supremacy, but she also says that another thing is uh, a white supremacist type thing. And that thing is science. Science is an act of white supremacy. You see why I couldn't do a story time? Because of this just blatant stupidity. Tonight we are going to start by talking about how to politicize our definition of body image. Rashford began, because of oftentimes we actually get stuck thinking of it from a white supremacist lens. She explained how. White supremacy happens every day, and all these little, little things. During the course of her talk, Rashford licensed science as one of these supposedly white supremacist everyday things. What is going on where today, you know, where there is a speech going on at a college where science is a course, biology, chemistry, and then she's going to say that is an act of white supremacy. I think you guys can understand why I am wearing this today. We should be critical of the use of science and the production of knowledge to continue promoting this idea that certain bodies are fit, able, and desirable. Stana Lee, I don't think you understand. There are people so big you that are not able to do certain things because they are so big. And as for the whole fit thing, there are some bigger people that are fit. You can be fit and fat, but when you get to a certain point where you are carrying so much extra weight, I highly doubt that you can come off as being fit or do the things that fit individuals do. I can put money on it, and I don't like to spend money, that I could probably just go a day at Disneyland. And probably move around way longer, faster, with great walking form than Sana Lee can. We went to the zoo for my birthday and we were there from opening until about 7 p.m. And we walked all day. We walked the whole park like multiple times and we only took about two or three breaks for food. Food that we brought and portioned out, by the way, because I didn't want to eat crappy food that would hinder me from being able to stay active and move and alert and not feel crappy after I ate. But I remember, because like I said, most of my, my family is obese and we would bring my aunt who would come visit, who is a bigger woman, and she's the sweetest person, but whenever we would go to things like this, we would constantly have to take breaks because her knees, her ankles, or her ability to just be able to keep moving. Sonali Rashvatar, I'm pretty sure you are not able to do certain things that I can do. And I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I guess that's my thin privilege talking. And as for desirable, there are many people that desire fat women bodies and there are many people that don't desire fat women's bodies. So you should probably just understand that it's subjective. Some people think that this is gross, that this looks like a man, and that is completely okay. I don't want those people to desire me and I have no no reason to try and change their mind. Is it my fatness that causes my high blood pressure or is it my experience of weight stigma? Oh my God. She then connected the science suggesting that obesity is unhealthy to Nazism, saying that fat phobic science is often actually eugenic science. Eugenic science is Nazi science. However, she then pivoted to support scientific findings as she pondered intentionally pursuing weight loss, claiming that what we are discovering scientifically is that that's not possible. I get it, I completely get it. So when science does not help um, further your perpetuation that obesity is completely healthy, that's when you don't listen to science. But when science proves your point, then you decide to listen to probably like the very minimal studies that does prove your point that are probably by biased people who are in the fat positive movement. Congrats, you are completely loony. You just won the loony award of the year. And there's still basically four months left, but I am going to award it to you right now, Sana Lee. You made my list this year in the last video and now you won the loony award already before the year is already over. Wow. 
What an accomplished person. So the next part of the article is the part that I was talking about in the beginning of this video. The uh, evil part, the part where I said if evil had a face, this would be it. Where she then takes a very sensitive topic and then uses it to her own benefit to further her own little weird ass movement. I do not think it's surprising that the man who shot up Christ Church, New Zealand was also a fitness instructor. After making this claim, she added that the shooting is a clear communication that there's still an idolized body. Nazis really love this idea of an idolized body, and so it makes a lot of sense to me that a fitness instructor might also think about an idolized body in this thin, white, supremacist way. What? I hope you guys had the same reaction that I had because evil and stupid, just dumb. How are you gonna connect personal trainer, fitness instructor to this massacre? It's very funny that she makes this connection because she says that, you know, racism is fat phobic, things like that. And she likes to try to get people fat black women specifically on her side because she likes to do the whole racial thing, right? So she talks about judging people, racist, this, this, and that, stigma. A lot of people from this group like to talk about how black people are looked at as, you know, very angry, gun happy, ready to shoot, kill, and beat yo type people. But then here she is, a shooting happened, and she's like, I'm not surprised it's a fitness instructor because you know those people, they're like Nazis. What if we just redid this whole thing and it was a black person that did this whole massacre and, and someone said, I'm not surprised it's a, it, it was a black person because black people, they're not Nazis, but black people, you know those black people from the streets always shooting their guns. It's the same thing and it's so easy to find little flaws in the way that she preaches. Where, how, how is she a therapist? Aren't you supposed to be like extremely smart to be a therapist? You're supposed to be just a mastermind on the human brain. Why does it seem like she's just not educated? at all. Campus Reform reached out to St. Olaf Media Department about Rashford's claims that the values of a fitness instructor parallel those of the Third Reach. No response has received in time for publication. I am just pretty just bleh, just disgusted with Sonali. I'm just disgusted bleh, of how, you know, how the world is kind of going with this whole health at every size. We should all be attracted to obesity. If we are obese, then we should just believe that we're healthy because we are living in the land of make-believe. Personal trainers are Nazis. And making a child eat healthy, and I'm talking about just healthy, not these extreme diets, just having your kid eat healthy food, occasionally have, you know, the whole fun foods that kids like to eat, but for the most part, teaching your kids to have a healthy lifestyle. How that is on the same level now, according to this weirdo right here. Yes. You're weird, I told you. You're on my list, I have no filter towards you and your evil face. How she can now say at a college for two hours straight that putting having a child eat healthy and have a healthy lifestyle is on the same level as sexual assault. That is ridiculous and Sonali, you are just an idiot. You are foolish, you are dumb. You are Finnish what Sonali is in the comment section. There's also this picture that I found that I think is her when they're talking about her speech and I think she walks with a cane. Most likely walking with a cane because of her weight. She is a ridiculous individual, she is a sick individual and I have no problem with, usually I'm just like, I try to tell you guys to be nice, but let her have it you guys. I have no issue with anyone that wants to tell her what she really is all about. Money and feeling better about her looks. And I don't feel sorry for any backlash that she is going to get or any backlash that she's receiving at this moment. She deserves all of it. What do you guys think of this? Do you think that having your kid eat healthy is on the same level as sexual assault because they can't consent to eating healthy? Do you think that personal trainers are Nazis? They're on the same level as Nazis. Teaching people who want to learn about being healthy and lifting weights and being active, that is an act of Nazism. My God. Anyway, on a happier note, I want to start doing this for my videos that are a little bit more heavy and, and ending in a positive note. A successful, very fat phobic before and after picture of someone who's decided to take the steps to get healthy. I'm a 24 year old, five foot O hobbit that was obese. I was 176 pounds. And one day I took my doctor's advice. Poor man, he spent years telling me to lose weight for health reasons and I kept ignoring him. And so far I lost 56 pounds. I'm 120 pounds now. I'm more than happy with my weight. I'm so full of energy 
energy and I don't have any physical pain anymore. I wish I listened to my doctor sooner to be honest, but I did in the end and that's what matters. I would like to thank you too. Watching your videos keep me going stronger than ever on my fitness journey. By the way, I'm wearing the same card captor Sakura shirt in the pit because even if it's too big now for me, I can't and I won't get rid of my anime shirts. And I might be a little biased for picking her picture because she's a fellow hobbit like me and she watches anime and was wearing an anime shirt so I kind of had to feature her. But I love her pic. You guys remember I'm 5'2 and I weighed about like 180, 175 when I was trying to lose weight. And that looks about how my body was looking too except I had kind of like fat arms and then smaller waist and all my weight seemed to go to like the bottom half of me. So that's why people would pass me for not being obese. But if I kept going the way that I was, I would be this shape like most of my family members. And this shape is a circle if I'm not doing it right. I'm pretty sure I am. Or an oval, that could work too. They're, they're just very circular people in my family. But I just wanna end it with that. She got to her goal, she looks amazing, she is healthy, which is what we are focusing on. And I wanted to say good for her. I like ending with these type of things to kind of end on a positive no. So if you like this, let me know. And if you have a before and after and a really nice, cool, positive story to send me, make sure to send it to me in my DMs. I can't get to every single person, but I saw this one. I loved it and I wanted to share it. If you guys are interested in that 12 week program, it is on my website. I link that below as well. I would love to have you part of the group. We start September 7th. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your comments. I appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button. Hit it. And I just appreciate you guys being amazing, positive, and just great individuals that make me really enjoy posting to YouTube. Thank you so much for everything. Remember, you don't have to be a size two. Abs are great to have, but not needed to be healthy. But health is very important. No matter what Sana Lee Rashvatar feels in her very unhealthy body and evil soul. And I want all of you guys to be as healthy as possible. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I been on the flex since flex zone. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls.